pilot. Ah, okay. I see sugar isn't dead yet. No, I'm sorry. Not yet. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, um, we don't have to stay here if you don't want to. If you want to listen more fancy. I'm happy anywhere as long as I'm with you. That's why it's very sweet. That and the jalapeno cornbread hair is killer. Right? So good. Right. He calls me to admit that Peter's done a masterful job of framing Obrek for his own misdeeds. There's an argument saying that Obrek had this coming. I think it's her karma getting in the way. Yeah, well, she may pay for her misdeeds for thousands of lifetimes, but in this lifetime, in this moment, Lisa Obrek should not be in jail. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt. Did you just say that Lisa is in jail? Yes. And I uh, arrested her yesterday. Why? Well, for a plethora of charges, including trying to kill you. Anna Devine has lost all perspective. I'm a victim of her maternal guilt. The woman needs a psychiatrist. Oh, we so? Enough. I've been moldering away here since yesterday. It's so good to see a friendly face. Warum, meine Liebe? What's the matter? So when Dr. Maddox is performing the memory mapping procedure, I mean, we were interrupted by a gunman. Anna thinks that Liesl hired the gunman. Yeah, correct. That's what Anna was led to believe. However... Led to believe by whom? Oh. Evidence. But that's what we heard. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt your night. We're going to go. Yes, Oh, oh my God, babe, I'm really sorry. I mean, I know Liesl's done her fair share of terrible things, but you guys are, are close. You're like her only friend. There's no way she's killed. But you disagree. I just know Anna's not one to act rashly, and if she arrested her, there's got to be a good reason. Tell me you don't believe those heinous lies they're telling about me. You know, Aunt Lisa, I've actually lost track of how many times I have forgiven you. And each time, I convince myself that I'm doing the right thing. But you are making it harder and harder for me to defend you. I didn't commit those crimes. I was framed by Anna's devious son. Peter August? Yeah. It's Peter who arranged Drew Kane's plane crash. P2 sent an assassin after Franco and Andre Maddox. The conniving weasel set me up to take the fall for him. Yeah, Weasel's track record is troubling. I don't deny that, but she's always been there for me. She's never judged me ever, not even for my past, and maybe she should have. And she's been such a rock of a friend for her to just turn around and hire somebody to kill me. Doesn't make sense. But why would she do that? Nobody can answer that except for her. I feel like I should get down to the PC meeting and talk to her, try to figure out what's going on. It's still visiting hours. It's her night out. It's okay. It's okay. It's we have a lot of nights, and you deserve answers. You should go. I'll wait here. Okay. in front of Elizabeth and Franco. Because you were about to tell them everything we knew about Peter. Yeah, the more people that know he's a deceiving can ever the No, right? no, no, it's not the more people that know. We don't want that. P Peter is going to feel cornered, and then he's going to get desperate, and who knows what he'll do. He could come after us or one of our family members. Peter is indeed capable of many horrible things, but I'd like to think he wouldn't actually hurt Maxie and the children, not physically. What I'm concerned about is the toll it'll take on Maxie, knowing that she trusted the wrong guy yet again. I, I, I am sorry, but there's no way that we can help or warn Maxie. If you push her, she's going to be forced to choose between you and Peter. And we both know what that choice is going to be. 